So I'm preparing. I'm this country boy. You know, I'm not that smart. And he's that preacher. He's a smart man. Wear these nice suits. So he's going to show up and embarrass me at the debate October the 14th. And I'm just waiting. You know, I show up and I'm going to do my best. Alrighty then, that was Herschel Walker, the Republican nominee for the state of Georgia for a U.S. Senate seat, a little bit important, you know, very uh, powerful position, uh, admitting in what I'm assuming was a brief moment of honesty that he is not that smart and predicting that he'll be embarrassed by his Democratic opponent, Raphael Warnock, at their first debate set to take place on October 14th. The first question that I have is, why would you admit this? Um, second of all, why would you run for the United States Senate if you know you're not that smart. See, this is kind of weird. Like, something doesn't add up, and with all things, when it comes to the GOP, there's likely an ulterior motive. He probably wasn't, just being honest for a brief moment. There's probably some sort of tactic behind what he's saying here, and we'll get to that here. But what's weird is that when he was asked why he's been dodging debates with Raphael Warnock, he implied that Raphael Warnock is afraid of him after he is saying, well, look, I know I'm not that smart and it's probably going to be a bloodbath, but nonetheless, he's afraid of me. Well, that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, this is what Latrice Williams of Savannah Morning News explains. When asked about why he declined to debate Warnock initially, he became aggravated and said he had to hunt down Warnock and told him to put his big man pants on. Quote, he may not even show up for that one, said Walker. He has made every excuse not to show up. I begged him until I chased him down, and then he decided he was going to show up on October 14th. I didn't agree to do his debate because it wasn't fair. A fair debate is doing it in front of the voters, and I've agreed. So on one hand, it seems like he's being momentarily honest, but then in the same breath, he's saying, well, look, he's been dodging my debates. I rejected all of his debate offers, but, you know, he's been uh, dodging my debate offer, which it doesn't really make sense. And this was essentially the response from Warnock's campaign in response to this allegation that Raphael Warnock has been dodging debates when he has no reason to. Here's what they said. Shortly after the May 2022 primary, Reverend Warnock was the first to announce that he would participate in three debates and in June named the three debates he agreed to and invited Walker to do the same for nearly two months. Walker continued to dodge committing to any debate, a complete reversal from his previous statement that Warnock could call the time he make the place, I'm ready to go. Then Walker went out of his way to accept a totally different debate than Reverend Warnock. So there's some disingenuity here, obviously, but Herschel Walker is a Republican, so I feel like that just kind of comes with the territory. There's this expectation that they're going to be dishonest and deceitful, so this isn't really surprising. But that's besides the point. Why would Herschel Walker say this? It feels like something that he wouldn't necessarily say because somebody who isn't actually smart probably wouldn't be savvy enough to recognize that they're not very smart it seems like a tactic right and i don't think that this is a tactic coming from walker's campaign but perhaps from republicans but i think that adrian lawrence put it best by saying this is likely a setup to make warnock look like a bully which the right typically has no issue with so long as it's doing the bullying and that right there is what i think is going on here i don't think that you say this to lower expectations because, you know, you're expecting to do bad and perhaps you you don't want to get anyone's hopes up. There's going to be this idea that, you know, Warnock is going to come in swinging and they're going to try to portray him as the bully. Perhaps, you know, they'll make it seem as if Warnock is ableist for going hard against Herschel Walker, given that Herschel Walker has admitted that he has, uh, I don't know what specifically he said he has, but he has like multiple personality disorders. So there's, there's a lot of underlying mental health issues there. Um, and you can criticize somebody and debate them and be pretty harsh if they're running to be the United States Senate. That doesn't necessarily make you ableist. And I don't think that the U the uh, the GOP is going to use that particular rhetoric. But I think that Adrian Lawrence nailed it by saying they're going to try to portray Warnock as the bully. But this should tee up an argument against Warnock saying, well, OK, if you're so fragile, if you think that I bullied you, perhaps you aren't strong enough to be in this position of power. And being an individual who suffers from mental health issues, as Herschel Walker clearly does, that doesn't necessarily make him inferior. That doesn't mean that he's a bad person person or, you know, any less worthy than anyone else. The reason why he's a less worthy candidate is because he can't serve. There are some individuals who need help and people with mental health issues to that degree, they shouldn't be placed in a position of power. 
they need to be given help. And the family of Herschel Walker should step in and say, listen, this isn't necessarily something that you should be doing. Because look, this is a position of immense power. Like this shouldn't be your fucking vanity project. This shouldn't be something that you choose to do because you're bored and you have friends within the Republican Party and you're friends with Donald Trump. This is a position where you will be affecting U.S. policy for at least six years. So it's no small thing. So if they're trying to tee up this debate, I hope that, you know, Reverend Warnock's team anticipates it and they find a way to, uh, you know, respond. But, you know, I'm not sure either way. You know, um, this is probably, regardless if it, if it was intentional or not, the most honest that I've ever seen Herschel Walker be. And perhaps the only fact check with regard to Herschel Walker where I get to claim True, he's right on both accounts. Not only that he will probably be embarrassed by Raphael Warnock, but that he's not that smart. I think that's abundantly evident just by listening to him speak. Uh, and whenever he tries to bring up policy, it's a complete disaster. So, yeah, maybe don't run for positions of power if you're not very smart. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician.